Hi, so this is a demo trying to show camera culling. So camera first time culling, which basically we have many objects in the scene and we only want to draw the objects that are falling within the view first time of the camera. So as you can see here, this green rectangle here, that is a indication of the near plane of the camera first time. And whatever, all the objects that are within that frustrum are drawn so as you see here there is a tank here that there is a box that just shows the debug lines but as you move the camera to the left there a tank appears so initially that tank was outside the view frustrum but now as you move the camera it falls within the view frustrum so all the yellow boxes that you see they are all bounding, bounding boxes of various objects so as i move the camera there is a slight delay but Eventually, all the objects start popping into rendering into rendering view. So here we see there are a lot of meshes that we see here. So let the near plane update. So all these objects are being drawn right now, and the frame rate is let's say about 22 FPS right here. So if I point away, if I point the camera to the left. So we can see some of the meshes are not being drawn anymore. So only the empty boxes are being drawn and they should increase. They should result in an increase in the FPS. So if I don't look at anything basically, so you see the FPS has increased to about 28, 29. So this is just a way to see that how camera view frustrum culling helps. So yeah, so the way this is done is each mesh has a bounding box calculated in the world space and then every time we render the objects we check with the current camera position if the bounding box lies or intersects with the camera view first run. if it does not intersect we don't draw that object we don't submit it for rendering so that's a short explanation of how the camera first run is implemented thanks